Okay, here we go. Simple dominance. Let's read the question. In dogs, many genes contribute to the overall color. This is like I was saying in class before. It's rare that one gene is responsible for a trait, especially something like color. But one gene for the TYRP1 is an enzyme. Remember, enzymes are proteins, genes, instructions for making proteins. And that enzyme is involved in making black pigment. There can be mutations to this gene, creating other alleles. That allele will result in brown pigment from the mutation. So here's the question. If a true breeding black dog is bred with a brown dog, what percent of the puppies would be black or brown? Okay, so here's our uh, little brown doggy and our little black doggy. So let's get to solving this problem. First thing we need to do is identify our symbols. So let's use a big B is going to be the black allele. Okay, and let's use a little B is going to symbolize brown allele. So it's said in the question that we have a true breeding black dog. If you remember from last class, true breeding means like a purebred or that if you breed it with itself, you'll only get more of the same. We know that that genotype then is going to be big B, big B. That's our true breeding black dog. And we're crossing it with a brown dog. So little B, little B. We know that because this is recessive, so the only way that it can actually appear brown is if it has two of these alleles. Now we can draw our Punnett square, but we don't really have a lot of options here. Here's our Punnett square. Remember, up top, we're gonna draw the sperm. So if this is our dad and this is mom, the possible sperm, well, each sperm only gets one allele, but they're the same. So one sperm is going to get a big B. The other sperm gets another big B. Here's our sperm. And our eggs over here, well, a little B. The only other option is, well, another little B. So you can easily see every individual is going to be big B, little B. So... What do they look like? Well, because the big B is dominant over the little B in terms of the genes, we're gonna get all black puppies. Now, we could do like Mendel did with his pea plants and we could cross two of these puppies together. We can inbreed them, so let's do that real quick, okay? Let's destroy. All right, so now we've got big B, big B, little b crossed with big b little b again we'll draw upon it square all crooked here but we're going to look at the possible gametes from dad here big b is one option the other option is a little b okay and same goes over here big b or little b so you can see we've got big b big b big b little b or little b, little b. So what do you ask is the percent of brown puppies? Well, look no further. There's going to be our brown puppies. Great dog, right? One out of four. So we've got a three to one ratio in terms of our phenotypes, okay? <clears throat> Another way to say that would be that we have 25% of the time you're gonna get brown puppies and 75% of the time you'll get black puppies. Okay, good. On to incomplete dominance.